starting now. Pixels for People 2024 is back with our final two runs for day two. Oh, don't you fear, there's still plenty to see here, like right now. On deck, Propheus is taking us through the return to form for the classic Mega Man. This is Mega Man 9. Get yourself settled in, enjoy, and let us do the driving. Propheus, when you're all set to go, let's get moving. All right, uh, this is Mega Man 9. Uh, I'll do the talking once I actually start the run. So in three, two, one, go. So Mega Man 9 was released in 2008. Uh, I don't remember how many years after Mega Man 8 it came out. But it was released on Wii, PS3, Xbox 360, all those main consoles, and then eventually re-released on every other platform on, with Legacy Collection 2. So we're starting with Concrete Man here because it's a very simple level and will be a simple boss fight. And he has a good weapon, which we will see once we actually beat the stage. So these elephants, okay, I want to try and jump into them. Okay, I've taken two hits already. That's not, I mean, it's not unheard of. But it's not great either. But this stage is pretty simple. There's nothing like... There's really no weapons required. There are like places you can speed up with weapons, but... It obviously isn't worth it. Because you don't have those... Uh, uh, those weapons. And we'll, we'll see once we actually get through them. But this is... Uh, is the fastest stage, Buster only as well, as far as I know. And this was also the uh, demo stage, but you I don't think you were allowed to fight the boss when you played the demo for this. Alright. So Concrete Man, he can do one of three things, he can dash, jump, or shoot Concrete. I'm standing close to him because he can shoot one or three, but he, he'll only shoot three concretes if you're farther away. So if you stand directly in front of him, he'll just place a concrete right in front of him, or right in front of himself. And you can just jump out of the way and predict it. So now we get the concrete shot, which is probably the strong one of the strongest weapons in the game because as you see in the preview it can turn into a concrete block when it lands and then it could also turn some enemies into concrete platforms as well and we're gonna start off by switching right to it But its biggest advantage, it can stick to walls like that. So, it's just a lot faster of a weapon. So we're gonna wait here. There is a way you can shoot a concrete block down and skip these two lasers. I never learned it. And I, there's really no point into learning it unless you get like a low 32 or 31, which I do not have. So we'll see our first strength of the uh, concrete shot is this dragon takes five shots. Which, considering how powerful the uh, concrete shot is, you get a good amount of ammo for it. That was only about a quarter, or a little bit above a quarter, used for it. I should have seen that shot coming. Alright, so as I mentioned earlier, you can freeze these magma lasers. They are instant kill, so you have to be pretty careful. They are pretty scary first time around. You can zip through that one with a precise movement. Okay, I was too late with it. So I just have to... Oh well. 
I didn't die, so that's fine. So as you see, we have only one concrete shot left. So that tells you that is not his weakness. We are going to kill Magma Man with the Buster. So the general strategy, he, sh he jumps one or two blocks, so you kind of just have to predict that, and you can get, and then time your shots, and you can just, I think it's about 30, it's like 20 or 30 frames, I think, I might be way off with it, but per, his invincibility frames is about 20 or 30 frames, so you can just time it like that, and get two or three shots off at a time. We get the Magma Bazooka, which is a... As you see, it's a spreader shot, and you can charge it. Which we... Won't really see it here, but... Getting Magma Man out of the way... Now isn't really a bad thing. As we require another item, which we'll see later... To get his weakness. Alright, so... Galaxy Man, as expected. Oops. Uh, I guess I'll just reset it. Okay, I can't reset it. I'll just do that then. Go the normal way. No, I lost my train of thought because I messed up. But we'll see a lot of Rush Coil. It's a pretty vertical level. And then, obviously, we're in space. Place about halfway, go back. Okay, I missed my shot. But I had the right idea, but I missed my shot. But you're, the the idea was you had to kill him as you're going up. More rush coil. So most of this stage is just remembering when to jump, and when to place Coil. I think Coil's like, Coil's the only, like, really, other than right at the end, Coil's like, the only useful weapon, other than Buster, obviously. I don't remember the name of those guys, but they grab you and, like, pull you, so if that one grabbed me, it would have pulled me toward the spikes, and I don't want that to happen. Switch to concrete. So I'm gonna go in these teleporters a specific way. I'm gonna shoot back boost as late as possible, and then that skips that. Some if you're really good, you can just shoot three timed concretes and kill it, kill all three, and then just land on them already. But I don't know how to do that. Right. No, I did get five shots, but it didn't count. Alright, so Galaxy Man, you want him to, like, stay on the ground because Concrete Shot goes toward the ground. But, oh well. It's all luck, it doesn't matter. So Black Hole Bomb is another pretty strong weapon, which will inhale any small... I don't know what size enemy, technically, because it can inhale a lot of enemies. But we'll see it eventually. Alright, so Hornet Man is another stage where we'll get a good amount of use of Rush Coil out of it. So this and Galaxy Man can be interchangeable because Hornet Man's weakness is Magma Bazooka. So we have weaknesses for both after the first two stages, but it's just up to preference and how I learned the game was Galaxy 3rd, so that's how I always did it. All right, so this flower can spawn anywhere. That's the best spawn. 
You want him to spawn in the tube beside you, he can spawn anywhere on it. Okay, I'll just wait. I don't know if those guys are gonna respawn. Okay, they did. Oh, I screwed up again. Okay, I can only do it with Buster. Okay, I'm screwing it up a lot. I don't know why, I just lost this strat earlier today as well. So I need concrete, so... I guess I'll just buster these guys down, it'll be slower, but... Oh well. I had three concrete, I could've used it, oh well. That. And then Magma. Oh, well that just shows, Mega Man 9's a tough game. Even like, especially casually, like, this is probably the hardest casual game. Well, either this or 7. Well, as you saw with, uh, Magma Bazooka, it can stack damage if you hit him with multiple, so a charged one with the weakness just shreds him. With four Robot Masters down, may I step in with a quick announcement? Sure. All right. Folks, just a quick reminder, our last bid war, the end is coming up soon. That is the Mega Man 10 character bid war for Mega Man versus Base. Uh, we're gonna cut that off uh, basically as soon as Mega Man 10 starts, so you only have about 30 minutes to get your donations in to make your voice heard. Mega Man is up. No, pardon me, Mega is behind. 255 for Mega Man, 274 for Base. Back to you. All right. Uh, so what did I get? I got I got Hornet Chaser, which is a uh, as it sounds with the name, it's a hornet that will it'll chase around any enemy in the game and any item you obtain. So I think it grabbed a health pack, but since I was full, it didn't do anything. So yeah. It, as you see, it, it grabbed the health and pulls it toward you. Which is a... It's actually a pretty good weapon casually, then. Alright, so this one... So norm, casually, you're supposed to wait for this guy. But the Hornet Chaser just eliminates that. And you can just wait for him. He can spawn on any of those eight or nine... What am I doing? He can spawn on any of those, and the one close to the back door is really bad, so... Alright, so this platform... Okay, I almost messed that up. You can see Black Hole Bomb, it will eliminate any small enemy in the area. It would not, I don't, I've never tried it on a big, on a stomper, but I assume it will not inhale a stomper. Right. So Jewel Man's gimmick, I don't know what his actual full gimmick is, but he jumps when you jump. So you just place down a black hole bomb and it'll, it'll jump. Rather than just go... His iframes will run out as he's in the air, so then just it'll be shorter movements. Right, so then we get the jewel satellite, but there's another thing we obtained, which was in that cutscene, which is Rush Jet. Which the best part is we get five stages down. And then the last three stages are the best, or the most rush jet needed stages. All right, so this start, so all the there's going to be Yoku blocks. Oh, I did 
that. Okay. okay, I didn't take another hit. What am I doing? Okay, okay. The, uh... So those are all on a global timer, so as soon as the stage starts, those blocks are moving. And I did screw it up, so... Yeah, I'm a little bit late now. Alright, that just pause the game. It's that simple, I guess. Yeah, since I uh, messed up a bit, the timer got messed up, and then I was late to the pattern I did want. But I guess it worked out. Oh boy, I accidentally hit R2. I've been messing up, so I'm not even going to take damage there. So the dual satellite is a very strong shield, and it can be thrown. So because of its strength, you only get either six or eight shots with it, so you only have exactly enough for or to kill plugmen so the plug ball is it's a more powerful weapon but its defect is it travels across the ground only but it can climb walls but we'll see later that climbing walls for it. It's effective climbing walls won't help us in some ways. All right, so Tornado Man, we're in the sky here. And we're gonna see more use of Rush Gen. There is, I, I don't know how much faster it is. I think it's like, Maybe like a second or two faster, you can do like a combination of those magnets and... Well, that's gonna... I thought that was gonna come back and hit me. But... It, it's kind of easy to learn if you know the game, but it's not really necessary unless you have a 31. I don't even know if it's like a second or two faster, if it's just like a show-off trick. Right. So the sniper just... Why do I keep doing that? The sniper just jump when you jump sometimes, if they're in the middle of picking what to do. So I jump. I was in the air at the start of the uh, one room because I didn't want him to jump when I jumped. Oh boy, I spawn rush way too far. And then the final gimmick of this stage is the uh, the rain will push you forward or back. So on the last screen, I wanted to walk as much as possible to not get pushed back. And on the final screen, you want to jump as much as possible. All right. It's fast if he stays against the ground, but he kind of did, but... I also kind of messed up, but he didn't go up all the way to the top, so it's fine. sky to under the ocean. So the last three stages 
can be interchangeable as long as you do plug before tornado because that's his weakness. So basically just tornado and splash woman can be interchangeable. But you can do splash before plug. That's the uh, other route that some people use. So if you remember Mega Man 5 from like three hours ago, this, these bubbles are basically the exact same pattern, maybe just on a smaller scale. But we can use Rush Jet this time. And then we just skip the entire thing. There is a safer way that loses about six seconds, but it's like guaranteed you don't have to step on any small platforms. small bubbles, I guess. Alright. Those rooms are kind of tough. Which is why... So now we get to Splash Woman, which used to be, back in like... 2013, or even earlier, Splash Woman was first because she takes double damage from your Buster. So then you get Splash Woman, and then her weapon, the Laser Trident, is Concrete's weakness, so you go Splash Concrete. But then somebody realized Concrete's too powerful of a weapon to wait, and it, Jet makes. Splash Woman stage like a minute faster. So just Buster Concrete and then go from there. Alright. So now we can go to the Wily stages. So first, we're going to start with Jewel Satellite, which this is just like a safer strat because you're going to get the Jewel Satellite back anyway, in some way. So if you're like really good, you don't, and you just bust her, but I never learned it. I don't care to ever learn it. So those platforms, you're meant to uh, tornado them and they, like, propel upwards. But since we have jet, we can just do that. Okay, I'm going to try a really silly strat here, because we're going to go on a bit of a mini-boss uh, rush in the next couple stages. Okay, I never... <laughs> That's the first time I've ever gotten it like that in an actual run, so... Hopefully I don't mess it up any time other than that. So we see more magmas. I, my jet wasn't too... was too low, but you can just jump on the platforms that the uh, magma lasers are... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I did there. I just completely blanked on what to do for the room. I still don't know what to do for the room. Nope. Do I have enough jet now? No, I don't. Okay, so I th think I... There, 
It was that it was one move and I couldn't do it. Do I have enough jet for this? Okay. I should have enough to do that as well. But I do not have enough jet for that. So the spike pusher, this boss is annoying. So this boss you have to like mash on a rhythm because if you mash extremely fast, because you can only have three lemons on a screen on the screen at a time. So you just mash on a rhythm. Jump in with a quick announcement. All right, folks. If you're just joining us here tonight, we are raising funds for Child's Play Charity, game industry charity dedicated to improving the lives of children with toys and games and their network of over 190 hospitals worldwide. At the end of day two, we've already reached our initial goal. We have raised $2,164. We still have tonight and another full day ahead of us. I can't wait to see how much more we can do. Thank you to everyone who has donated so far. Back to you, and best song in the game. Right here. Okay. So I grab both Rust Jets, or both ammo packs, just in case. I don't think I need that much Rust Jet, but we'll play it safe. Okay, maybe, maybe I did. That's another property of uh, the Sniper Joe, is that you can shoot through his shield a bit. So Tiptoe here. You can... Some maniacs know how to... do that spike screen without even tiptoeing. So those big green Lego pieces are, uh... I think they're only killed by a laser trident, which is convenient. But I th you only see them in the Wily stages, I think. So we're gonna coil up. I almost placed the coil too far. So I'm gonna wait for these guys to go by. You can, like, do a short hop into a coil. I used to know how to do it. But I don't actively run this game anymore. Or any game. So I don't know how to do it anymore. So we're gonna stay on coil here because the first phase of this boss is in the air. Coil, go to Trident. You can hit him with three. I don't know how to do that. All right, so the Mega Mech Shark is in three different phases. And I think he's weak. He's half weak. He takes two damage from everything. But Laser Trident and Tornado, I think. I think Tornado is the other one that does four damage. Yeah, it's a... It's, a, it's actually kind of a tougher boss if you're lower health. Because when I first started running out, I'd grab a second E-Tank just for this boss. But I don't have to do that anymore. Well, 
that's way too far. Okay, I did it. Anyway. So we are... So there's two gravity wells in this stage. They're really slow and annoying, but we have to get through it. So the thing with... It saves a menu, but the big thing with having coil out is we have to shoot twice because we're propelled by shots in those gravity wells. So we just have to shoot twice. Okay, I'll just do that then. Okay, I didn't get it. Uh, I don't have enough. Actually, eh, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm just pausing for no reason. Alright. So because of that, Because we're going up all the time, I'm losing my train of thought immediately after I think of it. So if we have to jump just to save some space. But if we bonk our head, especially on that first one, it will uh, send us all the way back down. So if you're like in the middle of falling, I should say, while you're entering the gravity well, you're gonna fall like all the way to the ground. Oh, nice achievement. Screwed up my time. I'm gonna wait for him to jump. I'm just gonna play it safe. Alright, so the Twin Devil, there is a quick kill for this where you can pause and get the, get the Black Hole Bomb off the screen as fast as possible. I think it's because I jumped before I uh, paused, because I was trying to mash pause and it just didn't work. Oh well. I haven't gotten that in a run in like two years, so it's alright. I need two. Oh, I shot too early. So these lasers are only blocked by concrete. Oh, I shot it. There is a certain way if you like do this stage a certain way and enter the boss, you can get a perfect pattern, but I never learned it. So we're just going to see if luck can be better this time. Oh. I shot one too early, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, I think Joe Satellite's next. So yeah, we're just going through all the bosses again.
I did it again. So this is our first new weakness because we fought Magma Man with the Buster. We're gonna shoot one. Sometimes if you do the fight a specific way and like you take damage when he goes to the middle and as soon as he jumps and you use Tornado, you can get a double hit. But it is pretty silly how they made it so you didn't have enough Tornado to actually beat him. Now with Wily, he's going to come in three phases. So the first one's going to shoot eggs at you. And you want to uh, push them back with Laser Trident. I ran out. I don't know how to do it with Buster. So that's how you're meant to do it normally. I just, uh, it's faster if you do it that way. You can do the mashing strat with, uh, with Buster as well. I don't know how, though. Now we get... So this is where I was talking about plug doesn't, it doesn't matter if it goes on walls or not, because there's no walls here. So in Capcom's Infinite Wisdom, let's make the one enemy that only flies go into the air. Or that on, the only, the only enemy in the air requires a weapon that crawls across the ground. Yeah, that's Mega Man 9. 37 is a terrible time, but what can you do? Bro, did you have any shout outs to make for Mega Man 9? Nope. <laughs> no problem. Short and sweet, we have one more game down and only one left to go for day two of Pixels for People. Remember that our next game, the last game for the night, Mega Man 10 has an active bid war on. We're trying to figure out if Pro Piece is saving the world with Mega Man, or if we're going solo with Bates, with Bates instead. Vote with your dollars. We're going to be cutting off the bid war in the next few minutes when we return for the break. See you all very, very soon. <laughs> 